Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. My name is Maddie if you're new here and hi. Today I'm filming a little bit of a different video. It's gonna be focused more on my experience as a commuter student my first year of college and I hope it is helpful to a lot of you guys who might be a commuter student or possibly thinking about commuting your first year or whatever the case may be. I just want to film this video to tell you that you know it's okay. I'm not gonna lie when I first decided that I was gonna be commuting I wasn't the happiest it was just kind of something that I needed to do in order to move on to the next steps in my college career I guess you could say so whether or not the case is that this is something you want to do or you have to do I just want to give you some of my personal tips for how I managed my first year of college as a commuter student I guess let's just get started um, I'm just gonna give a little bit of a breakdown of how I'm gonna organize this video I'm gonna go through the pros the cons the tips and then my overall experience and whether or not I would recommend it sorry if I'm gonna be looking down it's because I'm looking at my phone but just to give a little bit of a background I went to Georgia State for my first year of college and because it is in state and semi close to my home that I grew up in me and my family I guess we all decided that it would be best for me to commute my first year and I'll get into the points of why I decided to ultimately commute in a couple seconds here but I got into a couple different schools and Georgia State wasn't my very first choice it was actually kind of my backup plan so I applied to UGA and Georgia Tech and ultimately I was aiming to go to one of the two didn't get in my first year and I had to come up with some kind of plan to figure out what I was gonna do and so you know I decided that it would probably be best to go to Georgia State and then we were thinking about whether or not I wanted to dorm there or stay at home and just commute when I went to go tour Georgia State the dorms were just not something that I could see myself living in. We were looking at possibly renting out an apartment in downtown Atlanta for me to live in. We decided to save money and not get an apartment. Ultimately, I knew I was going to Georgia State to transfer out. So I knew that was kind of like my plan. I was only gonna stay there for a year and then hopefully go to Georgia Tech or UGA. That's kind of why I didn't dorm and do the whole, you know, live on campus experience. I hope you get that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and read off the pros and cons. These are just my personal opinions. I just feel like I have to reiterate that commuting and college in general is just a different experience for everybody. To be honest, I don't have too many cons, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to talk about my pros first, and then we'll get into the cons. Number one, you're going to be saving yourself a lot, a lot of money. For me, I was on the Zell Miller scholarship, so my tuition and fee like they were all covered for and so I really only had to pay for like my parking pass gas basically just stuff like that and then extra fees that the college charges which is I mean I think I think every it was weird that I had to pay for those just because I didn't really use any of the facilities that you Georgia State offered like the gym or I never even went in, I've never been inside of the gym at Georgia State which is you know but anyways that's kind of the number one biggest thing for me number two i got a lot closer to my family which is strange because i've been living with them my whole entire life i remember like the first time i went out to go to a party and like wanting to go hang out with friends me and my mom kind of got into it about me leaving the house and you know going out super late at night but it ultimately like kind of brought us closer together in a sense i love my family i love having them really close by my grandparents live with us and it's really nice and so just the fact that I could come home every night and be with them and eat dinner with them usually not eat dinner because I would come home late but they were just a super strong support foundation for me number three this might sound super obnoxious but food laundry all of that stuff was available to me I didn't have to do it for myself living at home that was amazing you know I am lazy which ultimately I'm gonna have to learn how to do it because I'm moving out in a couple months well hopefully if the whole corona thing ends 
Oh my god, this stupid ass lighting. All right, whatever. Number four, I didn't have to pack up all of my stuff. My room has been the same since it has been in high school. I didn't have to pack up my clothes, my closet, you know, any of that stuff. I didn't have to buy new things for my dorm or my apartment, just stuff like that. And also like I'm very much a big homebody person. I love to be home. I love to come home and be in my own room. My parents and family were really good about, you know, giving me space and they weren't really up in my business, I guess, um, which was really nice. And I love just how comfortable I was. For me personally, I like to have a routine. I don't know, is that weird? I just like to have my own routine and I feel like moving out would have definitely had to change that, especially living with someone I didn't really know. So yeah, pros. And moving on to cons. Okay, so honestly, this is a mix for me because I still had a social life. I feel like the biggest con is not living on campus and missing out on those social interactions that you would normally have like hall mates and roommates and getting to know people like that you know you can miss out on a couple different experiences that other college students you know non-commuter it's my experience but i think it all depends on how you put yourself out there if you're not gonna be interacting with other people in your classes or like trying and making effort to meet new people obviously it's gonna be a lot harder but for me personally, I'm pretty outgoing and I like to be around people and so after the first couple months of college I kind of got the hang of it and was able to you know go out and then the next con that I have is Getting home at a reasonable hour because I drive to campus It's hard to you know Say you're gonna be coming home at 1 in the morning because I personally don't even like driving super super late at night Normally I would get home depending on what I was doing between like 9 and 11 p.m like 11 is like the latest if I was hanging out with friends after classes. That's just kind of a con for me. I'm gonna go through some of the things that I was able to do and just like that social aspect for people who are kind of scared of being left out socially or whatever. I am very lucky. I'm gonna say that I'm lucky in this video probably quite a few times, but I'm very lucky to have the parents that I have because they are very easygoing. They let me do what I want in a certain aspect in a certain little bubble. So as long as I'm meeting their expectations of, I don't know, doing my homework, getting good grades like they pretty much let me do what i want to do when it came to going out with friends and going out to parties i mean as long as i let them know that i was going out they didn't really care they did set like a little i guess rule where if i was going to be staying out past like one or two in the morning to just find a place to stay and not drive home or drive back in uber like that late at night which is completely understandable also for me i had amazing friends that had an apartment lucky enough they were roommates sakina and sarah if you're watching this i love you i miss you they were constantly just letting me come over and hang out with them in their apartment spend the night if i needed to like if i needed a place to nap in between classes they would just let me come over and hang out with them. I was really fortunate enough to find people like that and be able to, you know, be comfortable even if I didn't have a home in downtown Atlanta. Anyways, that was just kind of like a little summary of my experience socially as a commuter student. These tips could be applied to normal college students, I guess, because they're kind of basic. They definitely helped me. My number one tip would be to set an alarm, make sure that it's set to go off every day or all the days that you have classes, just so you don't have to reset it every night and then possibly forget one night and then miss your class in the morning or something like that. Give yourself enough time, especially as a commuter student. I packed my own lunch in the mornings and snacks and stuff. You also need to take into consideration about your drive time and your parking time and then also the time that it takes you to get to class from the parking deck. I gave myself an hour and a half of time because sometimes it would take 40 minutes to get to school and other times it would take 30 or 25. Traffic is just, you never know with that. And then also the parking decks could have been crowded. You might have to like get a parking spot on the very top level of the parking deck. Sometimes those parking decks don't have elevators. So you have to walk down the stairs. I don't know, just be very time manageable. Definitely if you're not, I would try Train yourself to be before school starts. Teachers do not give a flying shat what you do and if you come to class or not. Most of my teachers did count for attendance, but that's just part of your grade. And if you don't show up, you get the F. 
and then that affects your whole entire grade. Number two, I packed my lunch, I packed my snacks, I packed my water, I packed everything for that day because I didn't want to spend like $10 on a lunch. And the cafes down there are kind of expensive. I remember packing my own coffee and matcha and all that. If you've seen my college week in my life vlogs or day in my life, you know that I packed my coffee and matcha because I needed that. Also, something that I found super helpful was to just keep extra clothes and extra shoes in your car. You never know when you might end up spending the night at your friend's house or you last minute decide that you and your friends want to go out to a small party like super last minute you find out an hour before it starts like things like that come up it's just always nice to have that extra set of clothes and shoes and makeup and whatever in your car so you don't have to drive all the way back home and all the way back in the end commuting was probably the best decision i made or could have made for myself i definitely learned a lot about myself it was nice because I had more of a relaxed schedule than a lot of my other friends who were at bigger schools and it gave me the opportunity to go visit them at their colleges and I'm not gonna lie to you first semester was definitely hard it was very very hard to adjust to and that's just coming from um, a commuter student yeah I, I've become so much more of an independent person and being able to do things on my own and figure out problems by myself you come out of high school surrounded by the same people every day and the same friend group you're in a routine and when you start college all that changes you have different people in your classes it gets lonely sometimes yeah i mean like i am becoming an adult i guess which is scary but i don't mean to sound cheesy at all either so i mean obviously this is my experience everyone is gonna have a different experience you know honestly i was very close-minded in high school i remember it was just like oh my god commuter student like i don't want to do that that's lame it's, it's been a long ride it's been a little bumpy and you know i've grown from it and you guys are gonna love it you guys are gonna love college college which is fun. It's definitely something. So if you're watching this and you're about to be a commuter student, you're gonna be fine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something from it. If you didn't, I hope you enjoyed me talking about my experience. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.